In today's garden restaurant, you will experience the sights and sounds of the Ozarks, from our panoramic cave booths to our group teepees. Guests will dine among the sights and sounds of waterfalls and wildlife. The today's garden menu is unlike any other. We serve only sample platters of drinks, fresh fruit and veggies, breads and muffins, and fish. We will go out, then we round out your sampler with sweets. Then provide you with a list of places you can go in Branson to enjoy the healthy food of the aquaponic garden. Education. We call it an educational center as this is one of our main focuses. We desire to teach our guests the art of growing safe, healthy food in their own home. We do this through workshops, day and evening classes. We also provide educational books, DVDs, and web support. And we'll hold classes on such back to the basic crafts as canning, jelly making, tool sharpening, hunting safety, and much, much more. Child Care Discovery Center. Small children often stand in the way when guests want to take a class. We will offer a live stream discovery center where children under 10 can go and learn through interactive games, crafts, and storytelling. You can leave your children with peace of mind knowing you can tune in on the live stream broadcast from your smartphone at any time. Preparation for Paradise. Many of the classes here center on being prepared in times of need. Besides offering classes in weather spotting and ham radio operation, we plan to teach proper food storage. To assist folks in being prepared, we will offer a full line of freeze-dried food, many of which come from our gardens. In this ever-changing times, it is necessary to find other ways to grow safe, healthy food close to home. The Branson Aquaponics Gardens and Educational Center will give us a venue to help teach the masses. Branson is the third most visited family education center in America, boosting, boasting well over 8 million visitors a year from April to December. We are looking for visitors to partner with us on this project. The city, I understand, is willing to let us open the first three buildings if we can cover the cost of insurance, utilities, and keep the grounds maintained. We have many volunteers willing to help us get up and running. Most of the workings are readily available and in inexpensive. Three buildings would be great, and the city might consider it if we can only raise enough funds to pay the previously mentioned bills. The time has come to draw the picture. As you enter the Branson Aquaponic Garden, both sides of the drive are lined with some of the most magnificent living walls the eye has ever seen. The native fruit trees stretch down the center divide. As you approach the first building, you feel as though you have wandered into a backwoods country town on Founders Day. The first thing to catch your eye is the floral building. Its sidewalks lined with hanging aquaponic flowers. Inside, fish tanks filled with blue tilapia swim in a tank covered with live flowering plants. Down each side of the room, more hanging aquaponic tubes, lush with flowers, hang over a two-foot deep trough filled with fingerlings. The rows of flowers move from one end of the room on a conveyor system. Down the middle of the room is a moving, hanging wall that is planted at one end and harvested at the other. On each side of the two-sided wall are large floating tanks, staked three tiers high across the room. Each flower bed is eight inches deep, four foot wide, and 200 feet long. Each bed planted with a virtual conopia of brilliantly colored flowers of many species. All the walls without windows are living walls. The flowers grown here are for sale, not only to our guests, but to vendors and business owners throughout Branson and the surrounding area. Many will be used by our crafters
for soap scents, dyes, paper making, and healing. All flowers, waste, will be made into organic mulch that will be used by our theater and hotel landscapers. As you travel along our covered walkway, our living walls will give cause for pause. Our ability to play on every event from the 4th of July to Christmas makes us the place to see over and over. We can offer an ever-changing living work of art. The next thing that will catch your eye is our living tower. On top, a wind turbine, and below, our weather spotting classroom and office. As you round the corner to your right, you will see our first factory room. Guests view the factory only from the windows located on either side of the building. Inside, you will behold a bounty of luscious produce growing on our living, edible walls. The walls are slowly traveling from one end of the building to the other in an ever-changing mosaic of Mother Nature's beauty. Each is hanging over catch ponds while water is misting through the walls, being pumped through the plants from the fish tanks on the floor below. Next, along your walk, you come to a large open walkway and staircase leading to the floor below. The vast open space will astound you with its breathing, live art. The large wall to your left is covered with a living painting and the colorful keel play in a pond. Beneath the magnificent waterfall, long flowering vines adorn the back dormer. The wall to your right is alive with plants forming living walls. You can enter the sales building from this hallway. Above the safety railing, around the stairs, hangs more living walls. Within our sales building, you will find everything you need to grow like we do. This mini mall carries small tabletop aqua units, ideal for the hobby chef, to a full garden kitchen. We will have a variety of DVDs, books, and classes to fit any need. It is also where you can buy a ticket for our tour of farming the Ozarks. This is an educational tour of the farming in this region from the Osage Indian to our ultra-modern aquaponic food factory. The courtyards. Living walls cover the outside of the tour tunnel along the side of the buildings, four and five. Between the walkways, in the picture, Above, small craft buildings line the street. The beeswax shop, the gourd shop, the soap shop, and 10 other craft shops. As the opening to the upper courtyard expands before you, the sounds of a town festival loft through the air. Small, friendly porches invite you to take time and smell the flowers. At one and stands a gazebo stage where performers and guests alike entertain as folks meander through our mini hydro and aquaponic landscapes. The lower courtyard will in time be covered with a polycarbonate dome, or as we call it, our Diamond Dome Exposition Hall. This is where we will hold our big events, weddings and concerts. Our Diamond Dome connects to our farmer's market where what we grow here is sold here. We will also use this building as a shipping warehouse. We will be shipping out goods to our many restaurant stores, farmers markets, and caterers. Below each growing building is the fish hatchery, where all the water from the fish is recycled to the plants above. The fish tanks themselves are a sight to see. Each tank in itself is a work of art. We will pay close attention to looks as well as function in every guest's view. The fish grown here are sold many ways. We will sell them in our restaurant as a prepared product, ready to cook, live fish, or as fingerlings for starting your own aquaponic garden. Each day in the lower food courtyard, the smells of food cooking lingers in the air as samples of today's harvest tickle your taste buds. For those of you who like to see the numbers, 
Once the Branson Aquaponic Gardens and Educational Center is fully operating and all 15 billion buildings are producing, six growing food and one growing flowers, we anticipate the net profit of 48 million a year. Here's the math. Eight million visitors, only 20% stopped by the garden. Each spends an average of just $30. That comes to 48 million a season a year. The healthy, organic food this plant will produce will well cover it, all its bills. This leaves the tourist dollar as a net profit. 418 tons of food per year per 10,000 square feet of growing space. The Red Roof Mall offers us over 200,000 square feet of growing space. Now you do the math. Our local food sales average about $2 per pound. To see the vision become reality, we can jump with just building, we can start with just buildings one, two, and three. $100,000, I estimate, would get the doors open through the Christmas season. We have a market for our food, so let's start growing some food. To build this, will take 35 million to get fully functional. The sooner we start, the sooner we will have what we need. This is a sound investment, and I wish I could pull it out of the bank and make it so, but I cannot. What are you willing to do to make this happen? The least you can do is pass it on. For more information, go to BransonAquaponics.com.